Josh, you got a hold of one there in that fifth inning. Just overall, how did you feel at the plate tonight? I feel pretty good. Um, first step at was able to put a barrel on two strike account. Just barely missed it. Um, second bat went well, and then next two at bats, um, you know, pitchers did a really good job locating on me, and you know, I tip my hat to those guys. Overall, for you tonight, when you look collectively at, at your night, do you take more positive than negative from it? Yeah, I mean, I feel I feel good overall. Like I said, I mean, uh, the last two ABs, the guys made good pitches on me, and um, you know, if they're doing that, they're executing. It, it makes it for a tough AB. You just talked about you hitting the ball hard and some of the underlying numbers being there. Is that easy to? to accept that, you know, when the results aren't necessarily there? Yeah, I mean, I felt, um, for the better part since I've been back, I've been, I felt pretty good at the plate. I had a few days stretch, probably I think last week or something, where, you know, I felt a little bit off. Um, I was able to put some work in. Um, like I said, overall, I felt pretty good uh, with the approach. And, um, you know, I was able to put a barrel on two balls today. And, you know, the other two of these guys made good pitches. Good continues to voice his confidence in you, saying you're gonna get going. It's it's close. It's it's close. What does it mean to you that your manager continues to do that? Uh, I mean, I think he sees the work that I'm putting in. I think he sees the at bats. That's how how it's going. And um, you know, and I like I said, I felt pretty good overall since I've been back, um, minus a few few days. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to have that confidence from your manager. And at the same time, it's. Um, you know, it's a grind. We're out here. We're out here playing our tails off and uh, looking to to make something happen. In your career, have you been someone who kind of needs to play through um, any struggles or slump at the plate? I mean, I'd say throughout the course of my career, I've played pretty much every day. Um, but I mean, for all of us, I think as hitters. Um, um, we get more comfortable the more pitches that we see, the more pitches that we face. And um, so, I mean, I think over the course of um, my career, I mean, I have played and I have put up good numbers. Right now, it's, I might get kind of getting the results day in and day out that I want, but I feel like I'm going about it in a pretty good manner. Josh, what do you take away from the fact that you have six or seven homers, but it's been a grind to find hits in other ways? Oh, say your question one more time, sorry. You have six or seven homers, yeah. but it's been a grind of fine hits in other ways. Yeah, I mean, um, the balls that I have put in play that aren't going out of the yard are finding, you know, gloves. And at the end of the day, I feel like what I can control is how I go about my at-bat, the process of the at-bat, and, um, you know, trying to make those adjustments to where I feel like I've been in good positions to hit. And... Um, for the better part of it, I felt I felt pretty good. Um, tonight was, I think, just one of those instances where the last couple of these guys made some good pitches. Could you tell me how you feel about the A's possibly leaving this stadium and moving to Vegas after you came up with this team? I mean, I, I definitely the A's you know mean something to me for, for coming up in the farm system and in the organization, and you know there's still some coaches over there that were a big part of my career and, and success, but. And, you know, the fan base here was always great um, for when I was here. Uh, at the end of the day, that's that's the business side of baseball that isn't always pretty. How do you feel for the fan base? I mean, it's you can, you can tell. I mean, from playing here, there's a lot of diehards. And, um, you know, it might not always be sold out, but the people that are huge fans of this uh, team, you know, they bleed it and they live it. And... You know, you, you respect the respect their fans here.